Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Axel Bit here and we are continuing our let's play of Assassin's Creed 2. So, in the last part we stopped a conspiracy to kill the Medici uh, by foiling their attempt against one of the brothers. Unfortunately, the other one died because I guess we stood around and did nothing? Because we were in the crowd. Uh, so yeah, one of them died because, uh, I don't know, we stood and watched. Uh, now we're going to take on the next Assassin's Tomb, of which there are six in the game, so this will be the second. They'll sort of like unlock as we progress through the game. And uh, after that we'll be taking on the Patsy Conspirators, of which there are five targets uh, that managed to escape Florence as we uh, took out Francesco di Patsy. And uh, surprised no one's ever tried anything with that symbol before. Someone must have noticed that on the side of the goddamn church. It was hardly hidden. Ooh, that camera then goes weird. Jesus, I hope no one else suffers from vertigo or anything. I assume that means we're about to fuck up all of the uh, the artifacts and climb up all over the walls and disturb the paintings. Ooh, I wonder if that's where we're supposed to start from. Il Duomo's secret. Explore Basilica Santa Maria del Fiore and find the assassin seal hidden within. Climb up to the top of the door. That's a pretty easy objective. All right, here we go. Even though all those dudes literally just went in that way. Oh, hey, artwork. How's it going? Done. Find the assassin sarcophagus. That's a bit of an objective jump. Hey, climb up that door. I'll go find the hidden thing that's been, you know, sealed away for centuries. Um, I'm supposed to get onto you. Then what? Then hop over to you. Oh shit! Okay, so that creates a shortcut. Oh shit! No, I pressed up. That creates a bit of a shortcut for us. Uh, Ezio, please. Thank you. I'm trying to record here, I don't need you fucking around. Sweet. Okie dokie. Um, hmm. I suppose just down here? Yeah, okay. Sweet. And we'll jump over to this. And... Okay, so normally pigeons indicate a leap of faith, but I suppose, I've never really noticed, but I suppose in these they're supposed to indicate where you're supposed to do a jump, maybe? Just as, like, white cloth is supposed to represent where you can begin a free run sequence. Okay, so now we're going back over this way. Okay, it's all, uh, it's all going well so far. I say that, but, okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. And now we have all of this to do. Oh, the joys. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry about that. The phone's on silent, but still, if it's on vibrate next to the microphone, it's not going to do much good. Find the assassin sarcophagus. Can I, I don't think I can climb that. I think I can climb this, though. Ooh, close. Um, uh... Okay, let's uh, go around. Okay, I can jump onto you. Here we go. I think I'm on the right route now. Do I want to hop on the cross? Or do I want to carry on? Let's carry on. Uh, ah, there we go. I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to have been going to. 
coolio. And then we can climb up here. Yeah. Sweet. Just be very, very careful. I'm hunting a wabbit. Uh, see, I can climb up those, but I don't know if I can reach that afterward. Let's give it a shot. Or can you? Oh, you can climb that. Never mind, I was underestimating your abilities. Forgive me, Mr. Assassin. Uh, oh boy, that was... Uh, okay, I just have to go down, never mind. That's not too bad. Checkpoint reached. Awesome, so if we fall and die, we'll end up here again. I don't suppose I just jumped to you, do I? And whoa, climb back up the windows again. Oh, can you not make that leap this time? I suppose there is cloth over it. So one, oh, okay, that one's not got any construction work on. So I'm assuming you're a okay to climb this one. At least I hope so. And jump again. Yeah. How about that? What a doozy this is. Okay, and hop there, hop there. That's a very odd beam to have just protruding. I'm pretty sure the laws of physics would not allow this normally. Oh well. Okay. Well, uh, I'll play along. It didn't snap on me and make me fall, so... As long as I don't have to stand on a beam like that again, and it does snap on me and fall. Because then that's just playing favourites. Okay, checkpoint reached, and now we've just got a bit of a a run around here. Ooh. God damn, I would be so scared of this in real life. My stomach would drop if I looked down. Although at this point, if you've managed to get this far... Can I climb these? I can climb these. I guess the bricks are... This is, like, curved as well. This is going in... God damn it, man. You're a fucking nutcase, Ezio. Okay, now where am I going? Oh my god, what? No, that camera angle. That camera angle. Holy fuck. Don't do this to me. Okay, okay. We're just dealing with ladders now. We're all good. Okay, so now we're going to loot this place for all it's worth. I'm going to say loot this place for all it's worth. I mean, we're just going to open up all these glowing treasure chests, because god forbid we try and take a gold plate with us. I mean, look at all this. How much would this be worth if we just decided to take a bottle with us? No. Can't do that. So let's just get... Okay, so... Was she supposed to be some kind of alchemist? Probably dealt with poisons, considering she's got a bottle in her hand, as it is. Can't remember her name, though. Or what region of the world she was supposed to come from. But, uh... Yeah. Now we steal this from her. Those things really are massive. And where do you put those? I like how the window just popped open. Here we go. Two of six. Not doing too badly. Third of the way there already. How much... I can't think how much more of the game we've got. We've still got plenty of game to go. Like I don't think we've even reached the halfway point yet, but in fact, I'm positive we haven't. I don't know why. Oh, there's even more treasure chests out here. So, yeah, no, we're not halfway through the game yet. I don't know why. I thought maybe, maybe we are. No, still a ways off yet. Which is good. I really enjoy this one. I enjoyed the first one. It was just a bit repetitive, but this one improve massively over a lot of things. Is there like a... I can't... Okay, it's saying I can hear. Okay, I didn't see that hay bale there. Never mind. I, uh, I thought we were aiming for this, like, cart of leaves here. Okay, we're all good. So now we're off to the next mission. Which I believe has us leaving Florence again now. We're going to join uh, Uncle Mario out in the countryside. Let's say, oh, we're stopping by our good friend Leonardo first. Exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's 
safe again, thanks to you. Tell me, how may I be of service? I have more pages. So now we're getting the poison blade. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? For my doctor? In high enough doses. That which cures. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ensign. Anytime. Okay, cool. So now we've got the poison blade. Um, it delivers a slow acting poison. It's more meant as a distraction than as a a properly offensive tool, at least at this point. Um, I think we can get fast acting poison, but again, it's not really supposed to be used in a combat situation. It's more supposed to be for disrupting other guards, really. Where is it? There it is, right next to the hidden blades. Okay, next mission. Where are you? Okay, so now we have to actually leave the city. Set a marker for you. Because then I know where I'm actually aiming for because the gate is right next to him. However, I'm not going to be using him because it might disrupt mission flow a bit. Up, up, up. Ah, uh, not much. Just everything, I guess. I mean, I kill people for pure enjoyment, really. We are kind of wanted again, though. It is not a good sign. Ooh, well, there is a wanted poster here. Wait, where is it? Are you serious? Where is this? What the hell? What's there? Who is looking at this? Who is looking at this? Oh god, now there's this guy. Get a bunch of money back from you. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yep. Let's steal some money from him. I don't know whether we actually got the explanation for them. They're like Borgia messengers. So they're bad people. Well, the, the dude himself isn't bad. Can we get rid of the marker? No, we can't. The messages themselves aren't bad people, but the Borgia are, so stealing money from them, not so bad. And now we're off to see Uncle Mario again. Whoop, crap, hang on, horse, nope, nope, there we go. There we go. Yes, I want to go to Monterey Why wouldn't I? It is a pretty cool place. Here's some new, younger man's taking over, helping build up the place again. Sounds pretty good. We, uh... I can't remember if this is another example of where Uncle Mario's just gone and we join him again, and this is, like, useless. Or if we march out with him. I literally can't remember. Hang on, we've got quite a bit of money now. Uh... Yep, and armor. How much do these cost? 2,755, okay. Oh, 10,000. God damn. Jesus. Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna have to leave getting the spoulders till another time. Okay, so now we've got a bit of protection. And Monterey's. Oh, yeah, part of the collection bit. I'm wondering why the value had gone up. Um, damn, there's a few things here now. Uh, I think we've got the feather box. Or Did we collect any feathers? I don't remember. I'll give it a shot. Okay, we've got a few more. I 
wondering it went up by 10 it must it was one feather then yeah i think it goes up a 10 by 10 for every feather we also got some money delivered so before our little bitchy sister takes it we'll grab it oh that's enough to buy the chest piece uh, the spoilers now isn't it god damn it screw you cloudy Francesco's dead. Another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages are from the Lancet report. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Arco. We have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these Bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. Oh, more combat tutorials. How about that? That was quick. All right, it's you're familiar with counter attacking, but what happens when your enemy hears us well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Top top offers little protection against Templar steel. And by all means, my teach me what to do. Now don't. Uh, what? I'm terrible at dodging. One last time now. Okay, I'll find, I actually managed to do it though. Disarms. Ooh, I remember this. Press. Yeah, it's lock onto a target. Yeah, if I counter attack while unarmed, I. Uh, oh, his sword's still there. Are you aware of this? Your sword is still on the floor, but yet you're holding one. Come at me then. And it. Dis oh, shit. Too early. And again. There we go. Just one more time, no, <laughs> oh, there's two swords on the floor. What is this? I should turn this video into Assassin's Creed 2 How to Copy Weapons glitch video. Naturally. Weapons are still there. All three of them. Can I? <laughs> okay. Well, I think that was going to be about time to call it there, folks. It's just about. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And in the next part, we're going to finally going to begin our hunt for Jacopo's man. And. Uh, finally end the Patsy conspiracy I guess with the uh, when we finally kill Jacopo himself so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part